Hey everyone and welcome to my uh, first tutorial in After Effects. Today we're going to learn how to morph shapes uh, so you can do something like this for uh, social icons. Um, obviously you can use any shape you like. Uh, I'm just going to run you through how I did this and uh, then you can do it yourself. Okay, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do, and I'll put a link in the description, is uh, if you want to follow along with me. Um, get these uh, social icons from alexpt.com. Um, if you just go down there and you can download them somewhere from here. I've already got them and uh, they're open here. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is just choose which ones we're going to use. We're going to use the ones with just outer shapes so they're easier to morph. Um, if you're going to do stuff in boxes then it'll be a bit more complicated and you'll have to. Uh, do a couple of different layers um, but you'll see as the process goes on how it all works so uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, start a new composition and we'll call it shape morphing tutorial uh, I've set it to 720p 30 frames a second and it's just going to be 10 seconds long so the uh, Right, first thing we need to do is create a background, so control Y for a new solid. Doesn't really matter what color it is, just make sure it's comp size. Um, and then we'll just stick a quick gradient ramp on there. If you just type in ramp, drag that onto there. Uh, I use the radial. Obviously, whatever colors you like, really, as long as they don't clash too much with the the uh, the icon colors. So we're just going to go for something a bit less saturated. Something like that. Um, and just call that background. And you won't need to touch that again. Okay, so how this actually works is you uh, use layer masks, animated layer masks, to uh, change the different shapes. So if you start a new solid again, control Y, and just call this uh, shape morph layer again make comp size hit ok um, then you right click on the, on the layer go to uh, mask new mask this is going to be the mask you're animating so you just scroll that down this is this is the section we'll be using so the first thing to do is and this is quite cool I don't know if you could do this before but you can just grab the path straight from illustrator so if you just drill yourself down into the actual thing, select the path, hit control C and back into After Effects and then just hit control V and now you've got your shape path. Uh, so I would just usually like to make that bigger. Why can't I see that? There we go. So it uh, typical. There you go. Hold shift just to uh, keep it where it is. Okay, and then we're going to stick uh, a keyframe on the first frame for mask path. We'll take it forward one and a half seconds, add another keyframe, then we'll flip forward just half a second, and we'll go and get our new shape so we go back into illustrator uh, somewhere there's a twitter there's a twitter again just drill down into it select the path control c back into after effects making sure the mask path selected control v now you'll see they'll animate but it's really bad and this is to do with your first vertex point. So if you look carefully, you'll see that one of these, in this one here, is set. Uh, that's your first vertex point. You want to kind of keep them in the same place for every shape you've got. So if we go for like the bottom left hand corner, just right click on it, go mask and shape path, set first vertex. Now it's going to animate to that one <laughs> because you need to do the same thing on this. 
so first vertex and then that shouldn't move in between there and there and then when you get to this one it's probably going to be around here isn't it so just set your first vertex to there mask and shape path set first vertex and you should get a much smoother none of that clipping or anything like that that's the basics right so we'll we'll drag that on for another one and a half seconds add another keyframe go another half a second in front go back to our illustrator file and this time we're going to use this YouTube now that obviously there's two paths here um, we're, we're going to do the inside triangle separately so we just want the outer path obviously you could just draw this yourself in uh, After Effects but it's probably just easier to do it like this for now hit control V again it's all messed up so we have to set our first vertex point to somewhere oh, we can try it on this one uh, let's actually have it selected and then we'll see and if it's no good yeah no, that's fine for what we want okay and then I'm um, gonna move that forward a second and a half this is just so it'll loop um, we'll grab that keyframe we'll just move it forward half a second hit control V and then we're back to where we started and then we can just trim this comp down something like that gives you a bit more space to work with so that's the basic shape tweening just there um, one thing you'll notice is it's really blurry and this is to do with continuously rasterizing so if you see that little sun there if you were to just click in there you'll notice that now it's nice and sharp and that's how it'll render if you don't click that and you render it out it will come out blurry right okay so um, the animation is pretty kind of dull at the moment so what we're going to do is we're just going to hit F9 on these on these morphing keyframes um, for an easy ease but a bit more than that we're going to go into the graph editor which is this button here and you'll see the keyframes so what you want to do is drag these to the middle both sides so you've got like a nice peak and you'll see it kind of sort of speeds up in the middle and then slows down at the end it's nice and fast but and go back to this and then you want to find your next morphing keyframes do the same thing select both keyframes hit F9 zoom into them a little bit and then go here and then you've got the same keyframes here and you just want to grab that to the middle, grab that to the middle ish and you'll have the same kind of effect there and then just finally just do it on these two here so select the frames, hit F9 you want to zoom in a bit before because sometimes it'll be a bit confusing if you've got lots of frames in there so there's your arch and you want to just make that into more of a mountain like so and then you're back to the Facebook okay and you got that and if you play it back you'll see it's a bit smoother right uh, the next bit is to add the right colors so we're going to add a tint effect this color correction tint we're going to add that to this now I know I just know what the colors are but I've got them written down here so the Facebook is a uh, 3B5998 I should have copied that Oh, I always do both, I don't know why, I probably don't need that. Um, 
So we're going to map the white to that blue. Um, we've added a keyframe right there, so if you just hit the layer and hit U, you can see you've got your map white there. Um, right, obviously when we get to here, we still want it to be blue, so we'll just add another keyframe. And then when we get to the Twitter, we're going to change this to uh, 1 DA 1 F 2. And then you should find as it changes, you get a nice little bar down here to tell you what, you, what you're doing. Uh, we're going to add another keyframe to keep it like that. And then we're going to go to the YouTube red, which is uh, E. Six two one one seven, and then that's you know just morph into that, and and then back to the blue at the end. So you can just copy that keyframe. So add another one, just in there, and then get to the end, and then just hit Control V, and it will go back for you. So there you go. You could um, obviously easy ease these as well. You probably don't need to. I think they're I think they're fine as they are. Okay. Um, right. Just uh, pretty much done now. Really. I'm um, just going to add a little drop shadow to the whole thing and um, we're just gonna make that 10 or something maybe a bit more and uh, take the opacity down to 30 okay and then the other thing we're just going to add is a bevel alpha the bevel edge just does not work you go to bevel alpha um, turn off this mask so you can see exactly what you've got and then I would uh, obviously it's up to you I kind of like it a bit bright um, but the edge thickness quite small um, light angles fine cause the same as the shadow so we'll just leave that um, and then obviously that's just going to work for all of them um, finally, if you wanted to make the reflection like I did on this one, um, it's pretty simple. You just need to pre-comp this. So pre-compose, uh, shape, or or reflection, and we'll move them all into another comp. And then you've still got that there, still does exactly what you want. Um, just uh, control D. To duplicate the layer, click the one at the bottom. Uh, you want to go layer, transform, flip, vertical, and just zoom out a bit. And then just move that down. Depending on how you want your shadow to be, um, I've gone a little bit off on mine. What I'll actually do though is I think I'll just move the top one up. Okay, um, you only want it to be 20% opacity, if that, and then you also want to add a mask, so make sure the layer is selected, just grab the rectangle tool, big gap at the top, small gap down the bottom, um, and then you just want to go to your mask feather, and just drag that in. done something wrong what? maybe there you know, drag the expansion Let's bring the feather in back a bit there you go and just drag that expansion down you just want it to be like that quite subtle and then if you play it Fit. 
And that's it. That's how you morph shapes in After Effects. Uh, one more thing, actually. YouTube is missing a triangle. Um, to do this, you're going to have to... Uh, there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, the way I'm going to do it is one way. <laughs> you could probably do it with another layer. So um, what you need to do is uh, get your keyframes up so you know where you are. So you want it to have sort of appear here. You're going to have to add a new mask. And then go down to the shape path. Go back to your Illustrator file. Select the uh, triangle. Control C. Back into After Effects. Control V. And you want to change this to subtract. Now obviously that's staying everywhere. So set a keyframe when you are on the mask expansion. And then go back to your previous keyframe and just take that down to nothing. And then sometimes you have to adjust this so you don't uh, go over the other letter. I've been lucky this time. Um, again, if you wanted to add some uh, um, easing on these frames, you could. It, it really depends on what sort of effect you are. Obviously, it's black. Um, the easiest way I've found to do this is probably a bit of a joke. It's just to add another solid white. You just want it sort of 50 by 50 or something like that. Um, and then just just drag it out to fit that triangle. Um, bring it underneath. And then you only want it to appear sort of from there onwards really. So just drag the bar up. And I think that one more frame is not needed. So we're lucky there. Sometimes you have to adjust the scale and maybe the position of the arrow. Um, and then obviously when we get back to here, just hit U to get your keyframe so you know where you're starting. Um, so I think we're just going to reduce the scale. So we'll hit a keyframe for the scale as we get to here. We'll just scale that down to zero, and then we we'll also have to do the same for the. Uh, the second mask expansion. So we go back to here, set a keyframe for the expansion, go to the end, and then just take that down. And then as we go through, so you know when you get to there, you can stop the white showing. So that should. Uh, Right, and you should get the. There you go. And that's good timing because uh, my son's woken up. Right, uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, then uh, please stick them below. Um, and if you've got any ideas for any further tutorials, then uh, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.